Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you how to create a curl noise effect like this one. So let's get started. In this scene I've already created a circle spline and a particle emitter which is animated along the circle spline. And as I hit play you can see that it already creates particles but they are standing still and this is because the particle speed is set to zero. Now in order to create this curl noise effect, the first thing to do is to create a curl noise in 3D space. And therefore, we need a random field. Let's bring the scale to 250. And let's also create a volume builder as a parent of this random field by holding down Alt while we create it. And the volume type needs to be vector, because this way we can store a direction in every single voxel. Let's bring down the voxel size to, let's say, 2. And let's also create a vector filter, and this should be vector curl. And now we already created this curl noise in 3D space. And if we have a look at this cube, this is just a visualization of all of the directions. And you can see, because this is so colorful, there are a lot of different directions stored in that, let's say, cube. Now we need to apply these directions as a force for the particle emitter. And this can be done with the new field force object that we can find in the simulate menu. So let's go to simulate, forces, field force. Let's first change the velocity type to set absolute velocity and let's bring up the strength to 50. So now we need to place something here in the fields list and this should be our volume builder. So let's drag and drop this volume builder into the list here and let's make sure we import it as a volume object and this way we bring the directions we created here in the curl noise volume builder to the field force object. Now let's make these two objects invisible and let's see what we already have. Let's go to the first frame and hit play and you see there is a little bit of movement but not too much so let's make this movement stronger or faster. Therefore, we need to select the Volume Builder here in the Field Force object and then go to the Remapping tab because actually what now happened is that the directions are already there but the speed is also controlled by the Field Force object and we need to normalize the speed. Therefore, let's enable the remapping and now we can either bring the inner offset up to 100% Let's play back the animation again. And here you see that it's already a curl noise. The other way of normalizing the curl noise would be to go to the direction tab here and for the length choose normalize. Now the last thing to do in order to make something visible here is to trace the particles. Therefore, let's select the emitter and let's go to the MoGraph menu here and hold down command or control and create a tracer. This way the tracer is created right next to the emitter. Now let's go back to frame zero and play back the animation again and here you see this is our curl noise. And if we now sweep this tracer or create a volume out of it, we can create this really cool effect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.